Well, hey, Calvary, thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. We're grateful to have you watching. Uh, whenever you watch, it's uh, always a joy to have you tuning in. Always nice to see you commenting on and how this has been speaking to you or helping you. Uh, and so please share a uh, comment below on uh, just how this is helping you through your journey wherever you find yourself. But you know, it's so interesting uh, just listening to people talk these days, especially within the church, listening to Christians talk just about how they see and view the world. Um, and certainly there are some things to be disappointed in, maybe to be critical or, or grieve as we look at our world and see uh, choices that move further and further away from a biblical worldview. Uh, and you don't have to look far to do that. In nearly every area of our world, there seems to be uh, a continual step away from a biblical worldview and how our world is operating and functioning. And what usually happens after that is it's usually some expression of, oh, can we go back to the good old days? Can we just be like it was before? But this is actually nothing new. Even in Jesus' day, as he's looking around at the world, he's seeing uh, the same uh, problems and, and, and issues in that world. And, and at one point in, uh, in Matthew chapter 9, he shares these words. It says that Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in the synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. This is uh, Matthew 9, now in verse 36. And he saw the crowds and he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. And he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. See, Jesus wasn't necessarily talking about there wasn't enough employees at the stands to buy lunch that day. He's talking about a much bigger thing. He's talking about how there's so much ministry to do. There's people that are hurting. There's people that are lost, that are walking, sometimes even running away from the call of God in their life and how God has called them to live. And he looks around and there's just not enough people to, to, to care, to do ministry, to connect with them. There's an imbalance, he says, there of the people doing ministry and the ministry that's potential, that's there to be done. And, and here we are, 2,000 years later, in the same situation. We look around and, and wherever you find yourself in the United States, if you're watching internationally, thanks for finding us and watching. Um, it's everywhere. There's, there's ministry to be done everywhere we look. And, and frankly, we can make a list of ministry opportunities and needs that would outgrow and outpace the list of people available to do them. And so here's what, what I want to just encourage you from this passage. First is, as Jesus just boldly said here, pray. Pray that God would continue to call and equip people to do the work of ministry, to reach people, to, to share the good and life-changing news of Jesus, to say there's another way to live. There's another place to find purpose and meaning and identity besides what the world has to offer. Continue to pray for those voices to rise up and make a difference. But sometimes I think it's too easy to just stop there. And say, oh, well, I've prayed that someone else would do it. And see, I hear this and I think the, the harvest is plentiful. Am I jumping into work? And my challenge to you isn't just to simply pray that, that someone else would join the labor force of God's uh, economy and, and join the, the work of ministry, but that you would do that. See, God has uniquely equipped and enabled you to be an influencer in your sphere of influence, in your family, at your place of employment, in, in your social circles. You have relationship, you have influence, you have opportunity that other people may not have. So today, I pray that you would look around and start to see the ministry opportunities that you have in your life. That you would start to look at the, the people around you that are hurting like sheep without a shepherd, that are lost, that are, that are wandering, that are looking for identity, that are looking for hope and purpose and meaning in this life. And that you would say, I'm going to step up. And I'm going to point them to Jesus. I'm going to point them to the place where they can find what they're looking for, I'm going to point them to the shepherd that will give them direction and life. So today I pray that you would uh, continue to pray that more people would step up, that would, that would join the work of ministry that God has called us to, but that you would answer that prayer on your own, that you would also step up and look for opportunities in your circle of influence to point people to Jesus and to share the good and life-changing news of Jesus Christ in their life. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.